Hey, how's it going? Chris here. So I rigged up my Power Add 20 watt foldable solar panel array. These are the ones you can buy for camping and hiking and and whatever. And you used to charge up your cell phone or tablet, and it's a 20 watt, so it has a two amp output on the USB. You plug your cord into a phone and charging it right up. I like working here in the back and charging my phone. I just, you know, lay the panel out and capture the sun and charge it up. But I ran into two problems. First problem was the solar panel needed to be propped up. And so I rigged up a piece of plywood, as you can see, and a little piece of wood with a hinge on it to keep it upright. The second problem I had was my phone overheated and it wouldn't take a charge. So I cooled it down, plugged it back in, and then it started charging again. So let's take a look here and see what's going on and what I rigged up. Okay, first things first. Is I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to do my best. This is a little USB ammeter. And right now it's showing 5 volts and about 0.57 amps. So not much power is going in, about 2 watts, 3 watts maybe. But here's the cool thing, check this out. This is a USB cooling fan. Ouch. And it has about a 22 CFM output and it's blowing a lot of air. So I hooked that up to here and then on this USB fan, check this out, it's got a little extra outlet that you can plug the phone into. Now let's take a look at the phone here. I got the Cool Master app on. It says it's 95.8 degrees. 96 goes up and down. But let's check out the battery here. See how it's doing. Go to settings and battery. And it says it's at 55% and charging over USB. I don't know if you can see that or not. So let's let it set and see how it goes and see if it overheats. I'm just going to let this set out here and also keep it in the shade too. All right, it's about an hour later. Let's see how this is going. Seventy percent. Check the app here. Check the temperatures. Doesn't look like it's overheating. <laughs> and the fan's working. Watch this. Cool. All right, real quick here. I repositioned the solar panel for a little bit better angle, and I found something out. Check this out. This was the cable that I was using to charge the phone with. It's really thin and I replaced it with a thicker cable. The reason why is because it didn't look like I was charging very well but now with this plugged directly into the USB ports here on the power add. See here? So I got the phone connected here to here and this goes to the phone, okay? And then the electric little cooling fan here has its own power source right here. So let's see how it's doing now. Oh yeah, much better. What time is it? 11.45, okay, let's check back. All right, let's see how this is going. Eighty-eight percent. Thirty minutes until full on AC, and it is twelve twenty-three. All right, let's check out the little app here and see what it says. Still staying pretty cool. Sweet. Yep, still blowing. All right. How much power? Oh, damn. No, wait a minute. Yep, 
about one amp. So one amp, about five watts going into my phone. And about, <clears throat> I don't know, about a half a watt to drive this motor. Cool. Sweet. So the phone out there charging is a Motorola Droid X. And I got it on Droid forums just to see what the uh, maximum operating temperature for this phone is, you know, before it damages the CPU and the battery. And I looked at, through some of these comments from these users, and this one says that, from what I understand, 140 degrees is thermal runaway on a battery, which is what you have to worry about before CPU. So as long as you stay below that, you shouldn't have to worry about it. CPUs are made to be able to withstand high temps. So 135 to 140 on that comment. And he says the battery should be kept below 125 degrees to prolong battery life. But I don't know when it stops charging is what the temperature is. So, hmm. All right, let's see how it is doing. It is 100% charged at 1.12 in the afternoon. 90 degrees here in Oklahoma City. It says it's about 103 degrees. <clears throat> cool. All right. Now let's talk about some of the lessons learned on this experiment. This was a cool little project, wasn't it? I got uh, lessons learned here I want to share with you on this little project we did with the um, power add 20 watt foldable solar panel. Uh, that thing works really good and what I learned that you need to prop it up and, and get it angled correctly to ma maximize the power. Second thing was the correct cable. That thin little cable did not work well at all and I don't know if it was a cable or the device but it seems like your device will tell you you know, if it wants to be slow charge, fast charge, or, or whatever, but it just didn't seem like that cable was working properly. Uh, third thing I learned was uh, charging on USB versus charging on AC. When that thing, if you saw in the beginning of this video, it said uh, charging on USB, it's actually a lower current rate, like 0.5 amps or whatever it was. And then when I switched the cable out, it, it moved to charging on AC, which it charged at a higher rate. So, learn that. Uh, talked about that different charging rates and all that uh, I think one of the most important things I learned on those is to keep your device cool when charging and or using you know the CPU you know a lot of people will, will charge their phones their car or whatever and that will definitely get the temperatures up to 135 140 like I showed you earlier so I think that is uh, probably one of the number one things but uh, let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, took a lot of time to get this pulled together, but it uh, turned out really good. I'm very, very happy with the way this thing turned out. And, uh, you know, like, share below. Uh, you know, dislike too if you want. Hit it, make a comment too. And hopefully this helps out you guys. And thanks for watching.